أعزائي الطلبة السلام عليكم Today we talk about the cardiovascular system examination First of all we have to introduce ourselves to the patient and we have to execute and take a permission and explain the steps of the examination to the patient we starting with the inspection looking for the breathlessness cyanosis any scars for example previous sternotomy or pacemaker any evidence of a clopping or sprinter hemorrhage or nicotine staining we have to examine the radial pulse to detect the rate, rhythm and volume this can be examined in 15 seconds multiply by 4 to detect the rate in a form of beat per minute we have to examine the collapsing pulse both radial examination is needed to detect any difference or delay brachial pulses should be compared with the other side and we have to do a carotid assessment blood pressure can be measured and the carotid artery can be palpated by gentle pressure between the larynx and the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid jugular venous pressure can be also detected by putting the patient at 45 degree and if it is not easy detectable we can do a hepatojugular pressure to detect the upper limit of the jugular venous pressure we have also should examine any evidence of xanthoma or corneal arcus any evidence of dental caries which may predispose to bacterial endocarditis any surgical scars or any deformities or any visible pulsation should be noted then we have to localize the uh, apex beat after this steps of the examination i mean by the this step is the inspection so we came to the localization and this regarding the second step or the palpation we have to locate the apex beat which is usually the inferolateral position usually it is the fifth intercostal space medially to the midclavicular line and we have to know any evidence of special character in the apex beat then we have to examine the right or for the right ventricular heave and right ventricular heave if there is any possibility of presence of a thrill this should be examined by the pads of the fingers with the grading of this thrill and we mean by the thrill it means a palpable murmur now the palpation should include all the areas of the precordium including the as we mentioned the apex the 
right ventricular heave or left parasternal area, the pulmonary area, and the aortic area. Then we came to the third stage, which is the auscultation. And the auscultation follow the same steps, including the uh, apical area, the left parasternal, the pulmonary area, and the aortic area. The auscultation, the aim of the auscultation is to detect the first and second heart sound and any evidence of splitting of the second heart sound. And usually we use both the bell and the diaphragm in all the steps of the precordial examination. The bell usually detect a low pitch sound and we uh, mean by the low pitch sound it means a turbulent sound usually this is better detected by the bell of the stethoscope so the bell of the stethoscope is important for the low pitch sound including the normal heart sounds while the diaphragm is more informative regarding the high pitch sounds and we mean by the high pitch sounds the music uh, sounds so each site should be uh, examined by the both the uh, bell and the diaphragm so we have to examine the first second heart sound we have to examine any evidence of splitting of the second heart sound and it is important to do a carotid timing in order to know the first the second heart sound the added sound the murmurs so we have to uh, examine or detect any evidence of added sound for example the second the third sorry the third and fourth heart sound the murmur with uh, examination of the carotid usual examination of the carotid done by the diaphragm and during inspiration after that when we detect any evidence of for example a systolic murmur in the apex we have to examine the axilla with the diaphragm if you have suspect a pansystolic murmur while in mitral stenosis it is better to put to put the patient in the left lateral position and using the bell of the stethoscope to detect the mid diastolic rumbling sound or murmur following an opening snap in aortic regurg it is better this is the left lateral position this area examine the left var sternal area also we have to do a timing this is the pulmonary area well this is the aortic area so in the uh, aortic regard we have to leaning the patient forward and with the inhaled expiration and it is better to be here in the left sternal edges in the third or fourth intercostal space after that we have to do a uh, uh, basal uh, examination for evidence of a crackles 
to detect pulmonary edema and we have to do a gentle sacral pressure to detect any evidence of edema then we can proceed to examine the peripheral vascular system by inspect and palpate the aorta usually the aorta lie above the umbilicus so examination including the palpation followed by auscultation for evidence of brewery at the aorta or at the renal arteries bilaterally and even in the loin area posteriorly the legs should be noticed for the any color changes scars temperature difference ulceration ischemic changes and the heels for evidence of uh, uh, any ulcer or uh, changes then the femoral pulsation below the inguinal ligament using the index and middle finger right uh, fem femoral and right radial artery delay should be noted which signify the presence of aortic coarctation the diaphragm can be show evidence of femoral artery brewery due to narrowing popliteal pulsation in the midline if it is easy uh, feeble it may indicate the possibility of aneurysm the posterior tibial pulse in the about 2 cm behind and 2 cm below the medial malleolus of the angle dorsal speed is also should be noted which is lateral to the tendon of the extensor halus longus and finally uh, we have what's called the Berger test by uh, elevation of, of the uh, legs about 45 degree this continue for about uh, two to five minutes to detect any evidence of change or pallor in the skin and lastly the uh, patient should be in a sitting position for three minutes looking for any evidence of a pallor followed by hi hyperemia which signify the presence of peripheral arterial disease now we listen to the heart murmurs and the added sound <laughs> 